Christmas honors for the world-renowned groundbreaking physicist Stephen Hawking. Hawking died in March at the age of 76. He was laid to rest Friday and remembered for his earthly and even interplanetary contributions. Roxana Saberi reports from London. For a scientist who called himself an atheist, a memorial service at Britain's Westminster Abbey must have seemed ironic. In this holy place where God has been worshipped for over a thousand years, but tributes paid by luminaries like British astronomer Martin Rees were a reminder that for decades, Stephen Hawking helped people look beyond earthly matters to the mysteries of the universe. Nobody else since Einstein has done more to deepen our understanding of space, time and gravity. Hawking was born in Oxford, England in 1942. As a 21-year-old PhD student, he was diagnosed with Lou Gehrig's disease, a debilitating condition he was told that would take his life in just a year or two. He beat the daunting diagnosis by more than half a century. Confined to a wheelchair and using a computer-synthesized voice, Hawking inspired the world with his ability to soar beyond his disability. In 2007, he came close to flying in space himself. From NASA's Kennedy Space Center, he took a zero-gravity flight and moved freely for the first time in 40 years. Vehicle has gone on and on. Space, here I come. And we now commit his mortal remains to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes. On Friday, Hawking's ashes were buried between the remains of two other giants of science, Isaac Newton and Charles Darwin. As he was laid to rest, the European Space Agency beamed his voice from a satellite dish in Spain toward the nearest known black hole more than 3,000 light years away. We are here together and we need to live together with tolerance and respect. We are all time travelers into the future, he said. Let's work together to make the future a place we want to visit. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Roxana Saberi, London. Wow, between Newton and Darwin, that's... Such an extraordinary figure and yeah. really helped us to stay inspired and have this sense of wonder about the universe. Every day, every day.